Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an irregularly shaped section transition with Divi. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how I managed to create this. We're going to start off by preparing our document. So I'm over here in Photoshop. So the, what we're trying to achieve here is this design. So we can see here on the bottom, we've added this style. So this is the part that needs to go into Divi as transparent. So I'm going to show you how to create this. And let me show you another image. So this is the second image here. And this is the final image. So this effect is quite easy to achieve. So let me show you step by step how, how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to drag this little lock into the bin. Now what that does is it allows me to add effects to this layer. Okay, so once that's done, the next thing we need to do is to add a transparent layer. So I'm going to come over here to the bottom, click this plus, uh, click this create new layer icon. Now we can see that there's a layer that's been, that has been added on top of our image. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is to add our brush. So I'm going to come over here and select my brush. And this is our brush like that. So here we have different brushes. So we can scroll through these over here and you can also set the size of the brush. So if I come over here on my screen, we can see that um, as I'm changing my size, this brush is getting bigger. Okay, so now that we have uh, our brush selected, in fact, let me make this slightly bigger. So I'm gonna set it to about 220. But like I said, you can customize this and make it whatever size you want. Okay, so now that we have that, all you have to do now is to start painting on your image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, sometimes I'm gonna drag like this. So we just have like different patterns there on the screen, right? Okay, so just continue doing that. until you get the pattern that you want. So what you need to do now is to just keep painting, especially here on the bottom, because this is the part that uh, we need to make transparent. See, like that. So the bottom here needs to be completely white. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. The next thing you want to do is to click this move tool or just pressing V. Now you need to press and hold down command. If you're on a PC, it's control. So press and hold and then click on the layer. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this, but now I've selected my selection over here. So with that selection selected, what I then need to do is to click this eye icon here so that um, our bottom layer now shows. So now I'm gonna click on my bottom layer and all I need to do now is just to press delete. And now we can see that uh, we've punched all these shapes onto our image. So now all I have to do is to disable the selection by pressing command D or control D if you're on a PC. So now we've achieved this. So if we take this image now, this part here is transparent and this is what effect we're trying to achieve with this. Okay, so now with that, the next thing we're going to do now is to save this image. So to save this image, you need to press Shift, Option, Command, S. If you're on a PC, it's Shift, Option, Control, S. So that brings up this dialog box. So with this dialog box here now, I'm just dragging this using my, my hand tool here just to see where my selection is. Right, now what is important here when we save this is to make sure that you save it as PNG24 because PNG24 will reveal the transparency and this is what we want because if we save this as a JPEG, then it's only going to save this with a white background and this won't help us achieve what we're trying to achieve in Divi. Okay, so with that, all you have to do now is to click on save, save it to a location on your computer and let's dive into Divi. So let's start off by adding a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So we're going to call this page I borders, but you can call this page whatever you want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on use the Divi builder. And then I'm going to switch over to the visual builder. Okay, so what I'm going to do next here is to add two columns like that. And for now, I'm just going to add a text module on the left, like that, and add a bit of text. 
So for now, I'm just going to add some lorem text. So this text will act as my main sort of uh, title. So now I'm going to save and then we're going to come over here to this section settings and add our background image that we created in Photoshop. So I'm going to click the gear icon, click on background, click on the third tab, and then I'm going to click this plus button to add my image. So my first image here is this one. So I'm going to select it and click on upload an image. So now we can see that my image is now in the background. Next, I'm going to make sure that I add a background color. So I'm going to come back over here click this plus button to add our background color. So this is where you can play around with different colors and select which one works for you. So for now, I'm just going to use a light gray. Now we can see that we, we don't really see enough of our image. So what we need to do is to add some padding. So I'm going to click on design, click on spacing, and then we're going to add some custom padding. So let me start with say 400 to the top, 400 to the bottom. Okay, that's not enough. So I'm going to add, say, 600. Okay, so now we're starting to see our pattern showing here on the bottom. Okay, so let me try 600 here on the top. Okay, so now we have more of our image showing. Now, this padding value I'm adding here may be different on in your situation because I have a very large screen, 27 inch. So while you're designing, this may vary. So all you have to do is to come over here and test what value works for you. Okay, so let's get, come over here to the content and let me just show you how that transparency works. So I know we've added our light gray color here, but if you change this color, it adapts to whatever color we're adding here. And this is mainly because we've added that transparency. So you can see here, we can change this background color to whatever we want. So I'm just gonna bring it back to my light gray, and then I'm gonna save for now. So next, what I need to do is come over here to my text module, click on design, text, and then I'm going to select my font. And my font here is going to be Brie Serif. I'm going to increase my size to about, say, 68 or even 69. And then I'm going to increase my line height just like that. Okay, so uh, finally, I need to add my color. Okay, so that's looking good. So I'm going to save. And then all you have to do is to adjust and see if this is in the right position. But as I'm looking at it now, this looks fine. Now, this is all you have to do to add all your irregular sections. So you can continue with this with different images. But this is pretty much the process of adding your images to your section backgrounds. So once your design is complete, this is what it should look like. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.